Do you like art tools and fun crafting gadgets? Check out my new purchase. Do you know what it is? It's a pocket punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. But what is a pocket punch board by We Are Memory Keepers, you ask? Watch to find out how to use this pocket punch board with these easy pocket punch board directions. The purpose of this contraption is to create easy paper pockets for your art journal, junk journal, handmade cards, mixed media projects, or anything else you can think of. Here are five easy step-by-step -step pocket punch board directions in this short appetizer technique lesson. The first step is to read the enclosed reference chart. It's located on the back of the device. It will tell you the size to cut your paper, the resulting pocket size, and the corresponding notches in which to place these two little plastic guides. I recommend practicing with plain photocopy paper first, then when you get used to the whole process, moving on to scrapbook paper or other decorative papers, such as origami paper, junk mail, magazine pages, other scrap papers. I also like the results on hand-painted papers that are just photocopy papers. Written instructions are also included with the pocket punch board. For this example, we'll be using some origami paper. Step two is to cut the four corners of your paper. We'll be first cutting the top left, then the top right, and then the bottom two corners. Lift this arm up and place your paper against these two guides. The first measurement of your paper as listed on the chart goes horizontal against this top guide and the second measurement is the vertical one against the side guide. Fit the cutter, being careful of this sharp tip, into this blue track, like so, and cut the paper. Flip the paper horizontally. And repeat on the other top corner. Back to the front of the paper. And the third corner. Flipping. And sliding the cutter through the groove for the last corner. If the paper is positioned or rotated or flipped in a different way, it can affect your results. That's why it helped me to practice on plain photocopy paper first to understand how to use the punch board. A tip is to start off with one of the square dimensions, then there's less chance for error. We're done with that little cutter now. The third step is to score the paper along the grooves in the board. These grooves right here. It helps if you place the scoring tool in the groove outside the paper and then move inward towards the paper. Press hard enough, oh, and this little arm right here also comes out to continue this scoring line. So you're pressing hard enough to score the paper, but not so hard that it rips through the paper. And repeating on all four sides. Once all four sides are scored, the fourth step is to fold inward 
along those scoring lines and crease with the folding tool. Start with these two big edges, folding them inward, and then the smaller flaps. By the way, please subscribe to Creative Solace Studios for more art videos such as this tutorial. The fifth step is to glue the sides, starting with the big ones and being sure to get the little tips because I'm assuming you're going to be opening this pocket or envelope and putting things in and out of it. So we want to make sure those tips are glued down securely. After those five easy pocket punch board directions, you have so many options to decorate these pockets, stuff them with goodies, label them, glue them into other art projects, or you can even cut the top flap off and use the handy curved punch right here to cut a curved shape on the pocket opening. You can even glue the pockets into your own little books. So many different ways to use them. They are awesome and the choices are endless. Once you've figured out how to use a pocket punch board by We Are Memory Keepers, I hope you've enjoyed the step-by-step -step pocket punch board directions and that you're dreaming up your own new creations for yourself with this handy art making tool. I'm Kathleen Erla Johnson of Creative Solace Studios. Please let me know in the comments what you would do with these cute little pockets after making them on this pocket punch board. Please subscribe and like for more videos. When you subscribe, like, and comment, that makes it easier for others to find this video on YouTube. So thanks so much for helping out and happy creating to you.